In this uh, tutorial, we're going to be doing um, an abstract piece using negative space. And what that entails is, is using um, an image with a lot of contrast, uh, a lot of two different tones, dark and light, and then creating something that resembles um, this kind of look, but then taken to another level. So uh, what you need to do is first download an image from this library and you open it up in your GIMP. You'll then go to Colors, Threshold, and using this tool here, you could pull and tug on this to make it as strong or weak as you can you need to. Um, in this case, I think I'm going to do something like this and hit OK. Next, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And the idea behind this is I'm going to do some flipping. So I'm going to image, sorry, layer, transform. And I'm going to flip this around, uh, let's see, horizontally. And I'm going to make sure I have the alpha channel applied on that top layer. So right click, add alpha channel. I'm going to grab the rectangle selection tool and I think I'm gonna pick right about here and I'm gonna hit delete All right. then I'm going to merge down so now it's one layer see how it's one layer select none and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate the layer once again I'm going this time I'm going to go to layer transform and I'm going to flip it vertically and then I'm going to choose that top layer use the selection tool maybe on the bottom part here and hit delete and then I'm going to go select none I'll look at it see if I like it maybe I do maybe I don't right click merge down once again and I'm going to duplicate duplicate the layer this time I'm going to try hmm I think I'm going to try this tool and I'm going to select here and I'm going to hit delete no, undo that. I forgot. Select none. Now I need to do something with this layer in order to make it abstract again. So I'm going to go to Layer, Transform. And this time I'm going to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. I'm going to take the circle and I'm going to attempt. put it towards the middle here, hit delete, select none. Now it's way crazy, but it's neat. Uh, one more thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to then one more rectangle right across the middle, hit delete, select none, and it's good enough. Right click, merge down. All right, now that this is one layer, I'm gonna take my paint can and I'm gonna choose some color and I'm gonna begin trying out different color variations in my abstract. Now in this case, when I choose a paint color and I select, notice how it selects all of these. If I need it to be individualized, I need to draw lines to lock out, uh, to close this out. In other words, I would take a pencil and I would take uh, black and I would draw a line from here, shift click to here. No, well, I would do a much nicer job and probably be more specific. This, and if I wanted to, then I could take this paint bucket 
change up the color, select that region there. So this is crazy abstract looking, right? And on top of that, I could then add my colors and I could mess around with my uh, colorizing, right? I can then take this and mess around here. I can add saturation. I can decide how strong or how weak it is. I could also go into color balance and I can mess around with the cayenne and the magenta. Cancel. I can also go into filters and I can go in my distortions. Remember eye warp? In eye warp, I can take um, the radius and start pulling and tugging. I could also grow, say, the center. So this abstract assignment should be creative. Have a good time with it. Remember to select a picture from the library.